Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of What's In There, where I'm going to take and show you what you're going to get inside a, a unit expansion of Stormtroopers for Fantasy Flight's new Star Wars Legion. Not only that though, I'm not going to just show you what's in the box, I'm also going to show you how to put those models together, and you can determine whether it's difficult or easy. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get down to the table. And so this is what you're going to be getting in the Stormtroopers unit expansion box for Star Wars Legion. You're first of all, of course, going to be getting their uh, unit card. And on the back, it just has a little bit of fluff text there. Uh, but here on the other side, it has everything that you need to play the game, of course. All of their different stats, kind of dice that they're rolling, special abilities that they have, uh, your uh, proof of purchase, uh, impact grenades, which gives you impact one, which uh, means that you can turn regular hit results into critical hits if you're attacking a unit with armor. Uh, the HH-12 Stormtrooper, which is the heavy uh, rifle, means you can add that mini to the, to the uh, unit, gives them cumbersome. So it says you cannot use this weapon um, uh, after you have performed a move. It does have impact three, which means that you can change up to three regular hit results to criticals if you're attacking a unit with armor. So really nasty against vehicles. Uh, this one is the uh, DLT-19. This is the heavy rifle. I'm sorry, more like the uh, sniper, I guess you could say. This is the rocket launcher. Here, this one has impact one, which means that uh, just like over here with the impact grenades, you can change a regular hit to a crit. Uh, but it also allows you to add uh, a DLT-19 trooper to your squad, which gives you a range of one to four, rolling two reds. Over here, this uh, um, this bazooka, basically, it gives you a range of two to four, rolling three black dice. So that's really cool. Uh, then they also have grappling hooks, which uh, allows you to uh, have expert climbing. And then this one just simply allows you to add another stormtrooper to your squad. And then, of course, you're going to have all of the models necessary for this entire unit. Um, and then, of course, the bases that are necessary and all of the tokens, including your command token that has that uh, troop unit symbol on it, uh, the different suppression tokens, uh, dodge, aim, standby, and then a panic token as well. So let me go ahead and show you how it is to put together some of these different models. Now with putting these models together, you just want to get some type of uh, super glue. You can use liquid, you can use gel super glue. It's really just whatever you want. I picked this up at Walmart for like two or three bucks. So uh, it's, it really is that simple. Now there are varying levels of difficulty with uh, the different models that come in this unit expansion. This one, the HH-12 Trooper, is the most difficult with having the most pieces um, and they're kind of strange positions too but anyway I uh, always want to try to test fit just to make sure that everything is working fine and so as you can see here it that one does fit well so uh, we're going to be all right to go ahead and put this together so uh, usually I, I if it has a post like this I go ahead and just tap it on the end here like that and then uh, put that right in there like that. Hold it for a few seconds. Doesn't take too long, just a, a few seconds. They are pretty well formed and molded to uh, be fit together. And uh, the super glue will cure um, over time. So that guy is good to go pretty much. And you can see he's gonna be standing up uh, on his own, or standing up meaning on his knees. There you have it, uh, or taking a knee rather. And then uh, here, we're just gonna put a little bit of glue there and a little bit of glue over here and take these two form it in there just like that so that he is uh, in that right position hold it together there for just a few moments be careful not to uh, glue yourself when using this liquid it's a little easier to um, have it overrun that's why I usually try to get the uh, gel but I ran out, so I went and picked this up for uh, next to nothing, really. And then, once you have that ready, you just have the base over here. And I usually like to put it on all of the flat surfaces that are going to be in contact with that uh, base, just so we get a good uh, uh, seal there. Then make sure that it is centered as well as can be expected. And then just press down there, uh, hold for just a few seconds. So let that kind of set up just a little bit. 
Uh, usually around 10 uh, seconds is good, especially if you're going to be able to leave it uh, upright like this, and then you can let gravity do, do the rest. But if you can't do that, 20, 30 seconds should be good enough. And once you have that set, he's ready to go. You can just set him inside. Now the leader here is um, only has two pieces, and basically his arm is just going to go right in underneath his shoulder pauldron there, like so. So uh, we're going to go ahead and double check to make sure we have a good fit there. And we do. Just go to go ahead and put a, a small dollop of glue in there. And then we just go ahead and take this and pop it in there. And you probably just want to hold it there for a little bit of time. Like I said earlier, about 10, 15, 20 seconds, something like that. Should be very uh, fine with uh, allowing that super glue to set. If you're using some other kind of glue, you want to check the bottle, make sure that uh, you're allowing enough curing time before you uh, uh, play with the model and all that other kind of stuff. But usually around a day is what most things for a complete uh, set, but more often than not, a few seconds will be enough for you to allow that to uh, be in there. Then just a little bit of glue on the feet here so that you can put it on that base and then just set it on there centered as well as possible hold him for just a few seconds there to allow that to set up just a little bit and then once he's set you can just move him aside now the regular troopers are very similar to that leader in that they only have two pieces but both arms are going to have to be glued on uh like so, and it's a little bit of a wrestling match there for a little bit, but it does fit in there pretty well so that it's like that. You could possibly get away with not gluing it, but just for safety's sake, we go ahead going to go ahead and put a little dollop there and a little dollop there. That was a little that was a little lazy. And uh, now we're just going to uh, as before, put it in there like that and hold it for just a few seconds <clears throat> allowing the super glue to set for a little bit once you think you're good you can just simply take that super glue put it on the bottom of the feet here and set him back up put him on there as straight as possible centered so that the center of gravity is good and all that kind of stuff just let it hold there for just a few seconds. And once you are comfortable with it, you can pull it away, let gravity do the rest. And then finally, the last one I'm gonna show you on, on the actual video is the DL-19 Stormtrooper, this guy that has the heavy blaster. And as you can see, his model is completely uh, ready to go. All you have to do is glue him to the base. So this is the easiest one that is in the entire box. Uh, you just put a little bit of glue on each foot here, and quite frankly, glue him down. Just make sure he's pretty centered on that on that base. Hold it for a few seconds, and then you can pretty much let gravity do the rest. And then after about 10 minutes, here you go. You have a full squad of Imperial Stormtroopers ready to hit the battlefield and very little work at all, really. But you do have to break out the super glue. So I just wanted to give you an idea of what to expect. So that's that for the Stormtroopers unit expansion for Star Wars Legion. Uh, I don't think that these two are uh, these are too difficult to put together. Uh, one of them, you simply have to glue them to the base. That's it. So that's not real difficult at all. You do need the glue. You do have to do some assembly. So there is that. At any rate, please do make sure that you follow the directions on this guy right here. It'll make your life a lot easier. And uh, so they provide it. Might as well use it, right? Well, hopefully that is mission accomplished. You know what's in the box. You know how to put them together. It's up to you now. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys on the flip side.